There are also occasions to analyze the situation when there is only one seller in a market. This is also known as a monopoly or a single seller. Now, when a monopolist has control over a market, it will affect the pricing and quantity outcomes in that market. However, a monopolist cannot independently choose both price and quantity. Set the price too high and demand will shrivel away. Set the price too low and there will be unrealized profits that the monopolist will leave on the table. In fact, the optimal condition is exactly the same as in a competitive market, that is to say where marginal cost equal to marginal revenue. The difference is that for the monopolist, marginal revenue is not the market price as it is with a competitive firm. To make this concrete, let's consider a particular market and four possible prices from 20 to 17. And there's also an associated quantity demanded and we'll assume that at a $20 price that there are 10 units demanded and at $17, 13 units demanded by consumers. In other words, the demand curve is downward sloping. The higher the price, the lower the quantity demanded. And the monopolist needs to keep this fact in mind when it's setting its quantity or, or price. That is to say, the higher the price, the lower the quantity demanded by consumers. Now the firm has to decide exactly how much would maximize profits. And to do that, he needs to take a look at the marginal revenue. And marginal revenue is going to be based on the total revenue. Total revenue is simply price times the quantity for each of the different uh, possible outcomes. And marginal revenue is simply the additional revenue by selling one more unit of output. So let's examine the marginal revenue if price drops by one unit with a subsequent increase in quantity demanded by one unit. You have revenue of 200 at the higher price, 209 at the lower price, with a marginal revenue of 9. And we can continue this calculation for the other prices and get a marginal revenue of 7 going from $19 to $18, and finally $5 of marginal revenue with the final drop to $17 of, uh, for the market price. Now one important thing to notice, the marginal revenue is always less than the price. That's because the firm has to sell the last unit for a particular price and all earlier units at that same price when the market price drops. But generally, we'll be doing this graphically so that one can depict the demand curves, downward sloping as usual, and an associated marginal revenue curve that lies below the demand curve. To figure out how much to sell, you have to bring in marginal cost. And for that, we'll keep it simple for this example. We'll assume that marginal cost is constant. That is to say that average cost is also constant, represented by this you could also do it with an upward sloping marginal cost curve, but we'll just keep it simple and, keeping, and keep marginal cost as constant. Now let's take a look at uh, what the firm should do. And consider the first unit of sale. For that first unit, the height of the marginal revenue curve is the extra revenue. The height of the marginal cost curve is the extra cost. The difference between the two, represented by the pink arrow is the marginal profit by selling that first unit. You make money by selling the first unit. Produce it, get it out onto the market. Now the firm considers the second unit. Once again, producing one more unit gives you marginal revenue equal to the height of the blue line. The green line, marginal cost, gives you the, the cost of doing so. Once again, it's profitable. You do another unit. You do another unit. You continue to produce until marginal cost equal to marginal revenue for the monopolist that is QM. And with that amount of output there's an associated price. Go up to the demand curve at that quantity over to the left and you read off the price from the vertical axis. Now we can characterize some of the attributes of this monopoly outcome. Most importantly the monopoly price is going to be greater than the marginal revenue, which is equal to marginal cost. 
That is to say, the monopolist will charge a price greater than the marginal cost of producing it. So it's useful to compare this outcome to the competitive outcome, where price equal to marginal cost. Price equal to marginal cost, the quantity supplied in that competitive market would be QC. So that in comparing the competitive outcome to the monopoly outcome, we see two things. The price is higher in the monopoly, and quantity supplied is lower. The monopolist restricts output to get higher profits and higher prices compared to the competitive outcome.